smart Chinese bikes about to revolutionize the industry with decent quality control, low prices and quality design. I recently reported on the first Chinese two-stroke dirt bike, <laughs> which generated a lot of debate. I also got to ride a Chinese-built cruiser in Vietnam, and the tour operator said he loves these bikes. Bulletproof engines, ultra-reliable, incredibly cheap, and only a few dodgy bits like indicators that he's happy to replace when they break. And just a few months ago, I got to ride this Chinese-built 450, essentially a copy of the 2006 Honda CRF 450X. And I was very pleasantly surprised. I'll do a review soon. In the meantime, I wanted to quote from an excellent article by Ron Golden in a recent issue of that shitty, shitty magazine, Traction E-Rag. China currently manufactures approximately 40% of all motorbikes made in the world. More than three quarters of that production is exported to other countries. Chinese manufacturers have graduated to producing full-size trail and enduro bikes. Some of these are Honda clones, many are mashups of Chinese and Japanese models. All of them can be purchased at a fraction of the price you'd pay for an established brand. Us can't help wondering if this entry of Chinese dirt bikes into the market today is comparable to the arrival of Japanese bikes in the mid 1960s. Innovation is not likely to drive significant market shifts in dirt bike purchases over the next decade. In contrast, given the escalating cost of bikes, economic factors may very well become the main driver of consumer purchases and market shifts. This certainly positions Chinese manufacturers to benefit but there needs to be considerable improvement in the perceived credibility of Chinese products. It's only likely to happen after the quality and reliability of parts, sales and service are firmly established. There will still be some who scoff at the idea of a real dirt bike that's made in China, just as some riders once scoffed at real dirt bikes that weren't made in Great Britain. 